So, all right, YouTube, tonight we're gonna play some standard. We've got kind of a brew here, but it's it's built around the new Nicol Bolas, which I think is super powerful. Um, and it's kind of, so we're basing it around this. And we're gonna play some Grixis. So, the deck's basically cut into like a few different parts. There is the removal, which is always great in Grixis. Grixis always just has like the best removal in the format. Let's put it all over here. Move this over here. We got ourselves like 11 really solid main deck removal spells that do a little bit of everything. You have four answers to Planeswalkers, um, Tyrant Scorn, Moment of Craving, Lava Coil to deal with individual creatures, and Angrass Rampage to be flexible, and a couple sweepers in the main deck in the form of Cry of Carnarium. Um, once we get away from removal, we get into kind of the dex engine. And I want to say the engine supports Nicol Bolas because if you read the plus, it says draw a card. Each opponent exiles a card from their hand or permanent their control. They control. So the goal is to like use this disinformation campaign, thought erasure, um, thought erasure, and then the four drop Nicol Bolas to get your opponent hellbent so that the plus from Nicol Bolas begins to eat at their lands. Because once you eat at their lands and you're drawing cards, even the decks like Nexus of Fate can't come back from that. So that's kind of the goal of the deck. We play this uh, Discovery Dispersal because it also is a discard and dispersal, but Discovery smooths out your draws and returns campaign for the grindy effects. Kind of rounded out, we've got like an Eldest Reborn, which also is a discard outlet, while being able to return you know, either of your eight Nicol Boluses. And then we just kind of have a little bit of a mid-range bomb in Liliana, Death Horde, Death, Death Horde General in the main deck. Move over to the sideboard, you get your normal Duress Negate package out of blue and black decks. Four Thief of Sanities, uh, a couple more Cries, a Ritual for like the bigger creature decks, and another Liliana to bring in against mid-range decks. But yeah, that's kind of the deck. Um, kind of excited about it so we're going to try to run this through a league and see how it does i would assume that this deck has a really really poor nexus of fate matchup that's kind of why i put the four mana dragon in because after sideboard sometimes you can curve like duress into erasure into thief into four drop nickel bolas and just kind of get there Put pressure on your opponent while disrupting them. <clears throat> That's kind of the deck's plan. It's all just kind of like there's not any real counter spells. There's no counter spells in the main deck because you're just like jamming. You're clearing away for the thought erasure to clear into your against like the control decks into the campaigns, and then campaign into like. Four drop Nicol Bolas into one of your great five drops. Are you playing in the SNG? I am not, unfortunately. Yep. No, this weekend is my uh, is my wife's birthday, so we are hanging out. Currently playing against O. Oh, I'm playing against against. Huh. All right. We won the die roll, and we're gonna keep this hand. We have plenty of lands. We have a thought erasure, and we have a discovery dispersal. So, you know, it's a little weak, but the Discovery Dispersal and the Thought Erasure are going to help smooth out our draws. All right, looks like we're playing a mirror. So I'm going to fire off this Thought Erasure because we don't want to draw any more lands, and we also want to hit a Search for his Kanta. Okay. So this Kefnet's actually a pretty big problem for us because um, we just don't have a good way to kill this. And if this thing keeps coming back and coming back, it's gonna be hard for us to win. So I think I'm just gonna deal with this. 
and we don't want this. Right on. I saw you at Niagara and didn't get the chance to say hi. You have one face can have one face can see that. Oh, nice. Thank you for very kind words. All right. We need to not be doing any more of that. Okay. So now we're kind of relying on the top of the deck, but the top of our deck is pretty is pretty great. So they drew that. So we know five of the six cards. All right. Oh wow, we might be able to return the Kefnet at some point. We can't wait on this too long because the Liliana actually kind of embarrasses the Eldest Reborn. All right, that's nice. So I guess we will. Problem is, this Liliana is now going to bother me. So I kind of have to take Liliana, but they're going to counter this. Okay. So Liliana is going to be kind of a big problem. Kind of, we haven't really drawn very much for it, but uh, have they played this? No, they have not. So I know four out of their six cards. We have a Demir Gilgate. So they have Swamp Vrask is Contempt X. I played blue green blue red with a green splash. I think I'm just gonna jam this because I wanna get this back. But wait, wait, wait. Put it in the exile from the battlefield. You may put it into its owner's library. So it doesn't even work. I kinda have to figure out how to get this Liliana. So I'm just gonna play this tapped. Like if my opponent just jams, I have to find a way to kill the token. And then get the, uh, and then eat the Liliana. I played an Islander guy. All right. We're just going to go to the Jam Town USA. All right. So we're going to get a card, it's going to get contempted. They discarded Liliana, okay. All right, they commence the end game, okay. Opponent makes a 6-6. Six, six. Well, we can edict that, which I'm kind of a fan of. Oh wow, our opponent had an Eldritch Reborn too, okay. So now we're going to Eldest Reborn them. Hopefully we draw something. We have not done that yet. The cool thing here is that our opponent can't really get back Nickel Bolas and flip it. So like they're incentivized to get back their own Liliana which is, you know, good, not great. We know they have this contempt though, which is gonna make it hard. We know we have a lot of gas coming off the top of our deck. Cause we've just drawn quite a few lands. That's a good one. So I'm just gonna jam this. We're not in any position to not jam, I don't think. I only have four cards and one of them is, if they just counter this, then I'm just in so much trouble. Yeah, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna play this because if they counter it, and then they get to bring it back. It's actually pretty bad for me. Like they can't really bring anything that scary back right now. My opponent is drowning me in cards though. This is kind of what you get. I mean, we didn't, we didn't draw very much of our early game. So 
My opponent can bring back Arnick. They can't flip it. So I'm going to discard my Sulfur Falls. Opponent does have a million cards. So at least his Elders Reborn is going to pop. And then we're going to get back my opponent's Liliana. And we're going to sack. Get rid of this. And just jam. And then I'm just going to draw a card with this. And it's, it's like not going to resolve at all, but, you know, a guy can hope. So they have Contempt. They'll Contempt this probably, unless they have the, okay. We're pretty far behind at this point. Thought Razor takes my Contempt. They have a cap net. Okay. Yep, we just have a cry. My opponent only has two cards. We kind of have to hope they don't do anything off of this. Because they didn't. We have two cards. Like, we can beat what's going on. We just need to have them not have anything else. And they've got that. So we're not going to beat that. They didn't plus. Okay. All right, I yield. We just fell too far behind in the early game. Just didn't really draw anything. Just kind of a beating. So I want all these. I actually don't think Liliana is very good in these control matchups. Like it's something, but that, that's really all it is. So I, I'm going to look to board it out. We're on the play so that we can kind of disrespect um, whatever it is a little more Thief of Sanity my removal is not very good anyways just because my removal is pretty medium because of like the Kepnet bringing everything back on the draw, I'm going to look to board in more, rem more removal. But I kind of want to do this on the play. Bring in one of these. Because we're not going to need this to s probably smooth out our draws. I'm going to probably look to cut some of these negates on the draw. Or these duresses on the draw. Alright, this thing's pretty solid. Hope we don't get duressed on turn one. That would kind of suck if we did. Looks like we're going to. All right. So they probably take my campaign. Oh, they took that. So they probably have another one. That's a nice draw. So no matter what our opponent does, we have a good play on turn three. This is Dreadhorde Invasion. All right. Well, they have double black up. So I'm just going to play the campaign while it doesn't get negated. And now we can start playing Thiefs. Search for his candle, okay. Just the mono Thief train. Hopefully we find something else to do with our mana next time. The thief's gonna turbo this out, which is kind of funny. But we're already up resources because of these uh, this campaign, which is kind of what the, which is what this deck wants to do. The rest misses, so we're up two cards at least. Yeah, and they just scoop it up. Okay, so now we want a little more removal in our deck because we don't want to get whacked. 
by FIFA Sanity. So I think I'm going to cut like another one of these and like kind of like a negate. Yeah. I guess the Eldest Reborn is kind of medium, but it does deal with the Kefnet for a little while. All right, we'll keep. We have a really good curve. We just need to hit lands, which is exactly what this deck wants to do. That's not what we wanted to draw. We just want to draw lands. Which is why it's gonna suck a lot if our if our thought erasure gets thought erasured. That could be pretty bad for us. Alright, more non-lands. Alright, pretty easy thief. And put into your graveyard. All we want is lands. My opponent plays something here. There, okay. They're opening themselves up. All right. I'm not gonna play into the sabotage right now. I'm gonna jam into the sabotage when my opponent wants to insight next turn. And I'm, and I'm gonna play Nickel Bolas because they might let it resolve and they have to contempt it. Because this is a common thing you should do. You should play in to it on four to make it so that he can't, they can't uh, draw cards with insight. Don't like I get to sink my opponent's mana on turn three, but I guess because I knew they only have one counter spell, I could have done both. Yes, yeah, so that means they need lands, which they just ditched the sabotage because they're gonna have to probably tap out on their main phase if they miss their land drops here, which they didn't. How lucky! All right, again, we're just gonna play this. Because it's the highest upside play. Yeah, and I don't really wanna play this next turn where they can, you know, make the, make the instant speed draw card. Okay, that's a third sabotage. I'll play the Nicol Bolas next turn when it's not susceptible to the instant speed um, draw to make a big dude. Which they're not doing. So they have Insight Contempt X. Just play the dragon. Another insight. Going well, um, Shakids. Oh wow, they ditched one of those. That's scary. That probably means they have more of those to do. Thought Erasure is a good one. So I know they have Contempt. Looks like Contempt, okay. My opponent has two cards. Play this, play a tap land. I'm gonna play my land out because if I hit like, I don't know, I could hit like a success in the jaws where I'd want as many lands as possible in play. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. That was really good. I can flip it next turn. Okay. 
Don't kill it. You son of a gun. Now I'm in trouble. Yeah, and now I'm just dead. My opponent's Eldest Reborn is going to reanimate Nicol Bolas, which is like just such a beating. Oh, that hurts. Guess I'll just get rid of this one. So I have to hit this turn and hope my opponent doesn't have anything, basically. Well, actually, here's to hoping they have nothing. This actually comes back to my hand and then they discard. Wow, that worked. Guess we're in it. They ditch the land. This is a commence the end game. Are they going to insight? Okay, they ditch that. Okay. Three cards. Two cards. All right. Just jamming. I shouldn't have ditched. I, I, wow, that worked. Holy shnikes. Sure. All right, I'm going to just play my land out. What swings? I could have sworn I was dead as a doorknob. It's a good hit for them. That was reborn to be nice for us. Just gonna deal with this right now. Oh, I should have done their upkeep. I didn't realize they had one card in their hand. I thought they were hellbent. All right, top deck war. This is where it would be nice to have Chemister's Insight. The deck doesn't have that, but it would be good to have it. All right, playing out this land. We have a lot of draws that just kind of break it wide open for us. All right, at least we, we missed there, but if they have a follow-up, that's gonna suck. All right, flood now. Come on. That's big. My opponent's very ahead now. Especially considering we're missing lands. My opponent's super far ahead now. This is where we have to get underneath the control deck. So you have to go like you know, hit early, like we can't, I mean, we've, we've flooded out quite a bit, but we don't have the insurance that they do with like the insight. All right, well, at least that misses, but it's gonna make it so there. And they kept the card on top. Do nothing. Right. That's bad. I think we actually have to just I can't make them discard. I have to look for look for gas here. All right. Get into your graveyard, put on top and I'm just going to jam. hope my opponent doesn't have it. Wow, they didn't have anything. Okay. All right, well, this is slow, but this is something at least. We have a lot of good cards left in our deck. Right? I guess we have one, two, three of these are exile. We've got, I guess we don't have that much. It's like half of our bombs are exiled. Surprised they didn't main phase anything there. All 
All right, I'm just gonna jam another one of these. I'm just gonna keep making them have it. Because this gets us back like thief of sanity. Um, gives us thief of sanity when we get back boluses. One, two, three, four. All right, thought erasure. Thought erasure is whatever. So I'm gonna get back this bolus and plus it because this one, like the other one making them discard a card doesn't really do a lot right now. So I'm gonna put this on the stack first so it resolves last. This is gonna target this. So let them discard. This comes back plus now I think I'm just ahead. Yeah, this is wild. What a game. I'm gonna get rid of this game log here. Just because the battlefield's getting gummed up. All right, they hit an inside. They only have like 20 cards left in their deck. What do they ditch? They probably ditched the insight. We have a, we have a thief. I'm gonna play out the second one. Because I can still respond to like the hostage taker with it. If you two weeks come back playing state, how did legacy go? Legacy was tough. I got beat up at the GP. It was a tough weekend for the home team. But now we're trying standard decks. How are you doing tonight, Andrew? This has been wild. Good back from Nine Edward and Cali, back in Canada land. Back in Canada land. You gotta love it when life's a bunch of win-wins. Now we're just gonna deck our opponent. Okay, so Liliana would be pretty annoying here because they can just edict both of these. I didn't really think about that. What am I returning? Probably returning I might return my opponent's thief. Of, I'm gonna return Bolas probably. All right, that's dead. Wow, this means I can flip my Bolas. Yep, you got it. All right, let's get back Nick. All right, what can I get back that's juicy? I guess it's just more Thief of Sanities. Or I could flip this and draw two cards and then look to start nugging the lands. That doesn't really matter. I'm, gonna f I'm definitely going to flip this regardless, but I don't know if I want to get back a Thief of Sanity, which I probably do. I'm just going to plus this. I guess that Blast Zone is going to be pretty annoying. All right, let's see what our opponent... They want. Let's see what they wanted to protect. Sinister Sabotage, okay. Put into your grave. I have to worry about not decking myself here. That comes back. I'm gonna flip this. I think I'm just gonna get back a Thief of Sanity. Just 
I'm gonna make my opponent's thief. And I guess I'll just, because we can hit a negate or something like that, like just something that would be just annoying enough to prevent my opponent from uh, just kind of hassle my opponent a little bit. This awakening zone is going to be able to, this blast zone is going to be able to do some work though. Maybe I'll just take something out. Okay. No negate. So all of our negates are in the bottom 23 cards of our deck. I hope we only got 12 cards left. I can't believe it. Like, I think we're going to win this, and I'm very surprised that we, we are going to. We had to get into, tread into some deep waters to win this one. Kind of just had to do a lot of jamming. They just didn't take a card, I don't think. Now let's commence the end game. Which makes sense, but we can deal with that. It's good. Gets rid of this. So the last cards commence the end game. Oh, that's pretty good actually. So let's do this. It's gonna make them Let's play the campaign because it's going to force their hand and discard a card that they have. I really like this how this deck plays out. Opponent just gave me the GGs. Apparently they have nothing but lands. What can they get back? I just had to figure, these games are so confused. They can only get back Thief of Sanities. So I guess we'll just attack them. Getting closer and closer to milling our opponent out. Yep, now we'll just play this god. Yep, there we go. Whew. That was a good first match. Just one two post sideboard games that you're kind of a crap starting draw. Which, you know, is the, I think that what I've played with this deck, it's it's kind of a poor game one deck. Because you're kind of like a the classic Jun problem where half your deck's good against half the field. And half of it is not. <clears throat> I'm excited about this deck. I think it's pretty good. I think it grinds with no other deck. Like, I think this deck would be super bust out, like some form of this deck, if it wasn't for Nexus of Fate. Like, I don't think this deck can be Nexus of Fate. Specifically, it can't beat the Tamiyo. The Tamiyo is a beating. Like, make so you, none of your discard works, so like half of your deck just gets turned off by one card. So we're playing against Aiden Briar, I believe. Uh, we're gonna keep this hand, it's a little sketchy. Like we need lands to really do a lot. All right, I'm just gonna kill this right now so that he can't fire off a wizard's lightning. My hand's a little slow against mono red. I guess I just put both of these on top. I'm 
means I'm going to get to my Eldritch Reborn, which like isn't going to be that great, but it's something. This is where I'm just going to get absolutely bodied by an Experimental Frenzy. Right, so I'm just going to kill this. Move right up the stage, yep. All right, well, at least they didn't hit anything that scary. And then hopefully this Eldritch Reborn just chews through everything. Maybe this Liliana will clean him up. A lot of steam connection. A lot of damage right there. All right, Pyromancer, Cry of the Carnarium. Cry doesn't even do it anymore. How's it going, Teddy? All right, well, we're going to be able to Liliana next turn, but I don't know if I'm going to get it next turn. Sack this, take potentially 11. If he has a way to grow this. And we're dead. Because he just sacks this, we take a million. Yeah, drawing the drawing both of our eldest reborns was not good. It was not good there. So we want these. I kinda like negate and I kinda like some number of duress actually against this deck. Um cards I, I wanna just take out all of my grindy crap. Turn into like a much leaner deck. All the removal's good. Liliana's a little slow. We'll just win with boluses. Ritual set's probably good enough because some of their things get too big for the Cry of Carnarium range. Probably don't need four cries. Might be too much like negate slash duress stuff, but they lay up the stage and frenzy. <clears throat> well, I need to win the game, Teddy. I'm just gonna submit. All right, this hand's pretty good. Got negate, which I can have negate up on turn two. So even if he plays like a little one drop, then I can negate a whatever it is. Hopefully, cry up a creature or two. I'm not gonna kill this. Maybe show a little weakness here. All right, well, now I'm just gonna I'm gonna nab both of these creatures. He can't, he like wizards lightning me here, but he can't um, land frenzy. Shock, okay.
kind of want to shock myself and play Bolas. Which I'm going to do. Because we just brick wall this. Let's use Lava Coil. And we can go like Lava Coil plus Negate next turn. <clears throat> no, we, we got to win the game, you know what I mean? I'm not sure we're going to beat, because like we have to, we have to put pressure on, you know? Oh, I forgot to play my land. Shit. Alright, we're gonna let this go. I'm gonna negate that. Quick clock. We drew land. Attack. I'll play discovery. Look for like a removal spell or a land or another threat. Uh, put in your graveyard, put in your graveyard. Sure. All right. Okay, we're on the draw now. So this counter spell is going to get a little worse. But I'm probably going to not going to have time to play around with this so I'm gonna bring one of these in because the cry might just be super important on turn three so this is what we're gonna do here I think we need our eight boluses because we, we have to win like the most important part of that game was you just slam the the Nikki on four which just puts a clock on him this hands pretty solid well no uh, his hands not good actually not enough ways to interact with the board Gross. This is no blue mana. God. So we've got like interaction on one, which is important. And this is a cleanup. And we have four lands. We can't cast a blue spell, but like. We need to hit a fifth land, but we also have time to draw spells. You'd have kept that seven. I'm gonna keep this. I don't wanna go to five. Like this card's gonna trade on turn one, which is important. And we're gonna nab a frenzy. That's a good draw. Frenzy or light up the stage. Oh, he was relying on that frenzy to, or that light up the stage to hit lands. Okay. Now we just have to hope. If he hits a second land, we're in a lot of trouble. But if he doesn't do that, we've got a chance. Oh, we can cast that. That's gasoline. Put in your graveyard. Put on top. We're doing it. There we 
we go. I mean, he just like he didn't hit a land this entire game, which is pretty brutal. There's a land, which is nice. Steamkin, okay. All right, just going right at my face. Let's do this first. Cry is not bad. Which is a fight with fire. I'm trying to take this Pyromancer. And I'm actually going to put this on top. I want to get my opponent Hellbent as soon as possible. Because if they get Hellbent, then the Nicol Bolas is just going to start eating the lands. So even though that Duress seems kind of loose, we just want our opponent Hellbent as soon as possible. Get rid of the Lightning. Yeah, and that's just game. Because this, this is like what the Bolas does. Because as soon as you get Hellbent with this Bolas... All the lands go away. If he hits a second land drop, though, that last game's hard to win. Two and zero, oh, good start to the league. One grindy match, one match against Aggro. So we're getting on, we're getting, we're on each spectrum, which is nice. I might write about this deck on MTG Corner this week. I have liked what's going on there what was my seven that this guy would, that uh what's his name would have kept core 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 chronics core i don't know i'm terrible with names oh shoot oh shoot Details. Play league match. New replay. I don't remember which button I hit also, so this might not be good. How's it going, Tyler? He would have kept his hand on the draw. Two lands. One spell's not castable. This helps. Man, that's close. I don't think you can keep this hand. Because, like... You have to interact on one, take a burn spell. You have shock to do it. So you probably have like 17. And then you just have too many ways that don't interact to the board. I don't know. I think you can get a better six than this. Like, I think any six that has a Nicol Bolas in it is better than this, I think. The four drop dragon. Yeah. The six, the six wasn't much better. But I think the six had potential to be a lot better. Right, I mean, at least the six had a way to win and an interaction on one, right? And it did have four lands, which is nice. We're going to keep this hand. This hand's pretty solid. It's an aggro deck. Having a moment of craving is really nice. All right, get a tap land from our opponent. Tap lands all around. All right, so we get, we're setting up for a really nice curve out here. I really want both of these, but I also want like a land. I'm gonna put this into my graveyard and I'm going to I'm just gonna put this in my graveyard too. Like, uh, we hit another five drop, bros. 
Like, we just want to hit lands, and we could hit something nice here to fill our curve. So we're playing an old mirror. Some hot mirror action. Dreadhorde Invasion. Okay, that's going to be annoying, but we should be able to handle that. All right, another one. So I'm actually just gonna kill this thing right now because I'm not gonna get an opportunity to kill it. Because it's gonna grow, like the moment of craving is just not gonna do anything. And then we're gonna be mana efficient. This makes a 2-2. Two -two. Jeez. I think I'm just going to kill this. have to kill this thing. Because this is going to deal 5 damage, make this a 5-5. Five, five. And then I can just block. But that's not really doing me anything either. I can race it, but if they put a counter on it, then it just, it just pluses. This is tough. I have to chump with my bolus if I keep this alive. So I think what I'm gonna do is just minus this in race then I incentivize them to attack and not draw cards which makes but then the problem is the thing just keeps getting bigger and bigger could have gone cry thoughts razor I think I have to race to win this game but I just don't think I'm gonna win this game playing scare oh wow I didn't attack with my nickel bolus what the hell just get motoed out of this game. Sorry, I can block here. As long as I don't have a removal spell. That's so tilting, though. Yeah, that's so tilting. Because then they would be at a lower life total. Because we can't even raise this. Yeah, we're just super dead. So they just land a triple of these, which is like not something we can realistically beat. Okay, so we kind of have to get aggressive. So let's kind of punish our opponent for trying to do crap like that. The Liliana has not been that great. If I notice, I want to get these duresses in here. I'll get this reborn out. I kind of want to play like an aggro deck. So I guess the Liliana, if the Liliana comes down, it can clear up like my opponent's board. I 
Maybe it's just right to not have any removal and just get underneath of these dumb uh, Dreadhorde invasions. Because I'm certainly a dog if we're playing a mirror and they have Dreadhorde invasion and I don't. Which means maybe I should have Dreadhorde invasion. Probably don't want all these negates because I, I can't really hold it up. I'm going to keep doing just enough removal. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Well, I this card. You need a threat to really get this game going here. All right, let's just take this. And then I can duress this the turn afterwards. Play a tap land, and then I probably have to get rid of that too, because that's two bodies. Drew cast down, which we're not worried about. So we're gonna let Soul Diviner go. Soul Diviner has been a, been a sweet card. It's like scary. All right, so let's get rid of the thing that makes two bodies. Rip. We have to ignore this now. I still think we take the thing that makes two bodies, put this into my graveyard, and then play a land and pass. Then we have to kill the Thief of Sanity. And then we at least get to surveil to set up what we're doing. This cast down is actually blank cardboard, which makes me not want to cast Thought Erasure. But I might have to to set up my draw. Well, now I can set my draw up better than that. So let's go here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to kill this thing right now. Put into my graveyard. Put into my graveyard. All right. Get rid of this. And then we're gonna play Nick. Nick should blank what they're doing. All right, play this. Hopefully they ditch their cast down. If not, and if we draw a land, we can go get rid of the cast down. There they go. So we know our opponent has spells. So we might just lead on this Thought Erasure anyways. We drew land gas. All right, well, let's get rid of this. Put this into the bin. And I don't think I'm the beat down right now, actually. I don't think I want to trade four for four. Just hope our opponent doesn't have a relevant play next turn. That's relevant. All right, put on top, put on top. Just gonna keep him going. Do you have a relevant play? We're drawing Liliana next turn, which is nice. All right, so that's gonna draw them cards, which is scary. All right, no land for our opponent. So we're just getting in here with Thief. Look to draw some kind of, oh no, they just scoop it up. All right, we have Liliana next turn. Yeah, so I think our plan is to just be the aggro deck. I think I need... I'm going to get rid of these negates, though. And I'm going to bring these lava coils back in. Because I think, I think the counter spells are going to be much worse on the draw. These disinformation campaigns might also be too slow. Like, maybe I need more removal on the draw. Or just ways to interact. 
I kind of want negates because of the Eldest Reborn, but I have to like weather their early storm. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have time for these campaigns. Like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to just grind my opponent out. It's probably just nonsense. Bring in a couple of these. I'm gonna bring in a couple of these because these don't these the moment of cravings don't kill the the two two. Ritual set might wipe their board. Yeah, I don't think I can play that game. <clears throat> so to not get Dreadhorde invasion. At least we have outs to the two, whatever it is. All right, we're going to keep this hand. We've got outs to Sorcerer's Spyglass if our opponent lands it now. Do you have a duress? No. It's not a bad, like if we're not going to draw lands, it's good to draw that. So we kind of have to take this Spyglass. We'll try to figure out the brutality in a bit. All right, that's not bad. We don't have to take damage to discovery. Yeah, we're gonna draw both of these. We're gonna end up just curving out and hoping that our curve out can contend with our opponent's curve out. And like hope that they really just hope they don't kill this our thief of sanity and we'll look to just trade off thieves we kind of just have to hope here because we know two out of the five cards i'm just going to trade then my opponent's probably going to nick me and I'm gonna ditch this this bolas here. Nice draw. It'll be good when the death settles. Go ditch brutality. God, don't Elvis reborn me. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Oh, Angel the God. That's super bad as well. Holy shnikes. That's a good one right here. Well, I guess we just kill their bull wasps. right to kill the amass creature yeah it's gotta be right to go with this but if they just make this thing huge i could be in a lot of trouble That was impressive. This Enter the God Internals was here was nice. All right. Blue, black, one. All right, we can tap. What are the odds my opponent's on just the air? Not high. Super not high. <clears throat> so these got it. These were nice in this matchup. This card just dominates mid range matchups, I would assume. All right. Dispersal. So we get we actually get their last card here too, which is nice. They have two cards. They don't have two cards. Oh, it was okay. They they had the token going back out of their cards. Now we're both playing off the top. My opponent's at twenty eight life though. I'm at four. I would assume that our deck's better off the top than theirs is, though. They have this. 
this card right here, which is awesome. Wow. That nugs a land too. Holy shnikes. Black. No. Black, 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 red, no, red, blue, red. That's just a such a nuts top deck. Into a removal spell, which is good. Okay, my opponent's just flooding out. And this Bolas will kill them. Really hope they don't have a way to interact with this. A dread horde invasion would be awful. <sighs> Jeez. We're actually gonna outpace it. If they miss a draw step and they can't kill this, we do we do just beat this dread horde invasion. But this this has been a nice little mid-range card. One that my deck might want. All right, let's start by killing this. I guess I should have plussed. Because I, I would have gone down on that if I had to. All right, now we should have this locked up now. Because this just minuses and kills them next turn. Just sack this. They don't have a legendary permanent. This is, yeah, so we just win the game. Yep, there we go. Whew. Three and oh. Three and oh. I'm gonna go get some water, I'll be right back. I think the deck's pretty sweet. Like the Nickel Bolas is messed up. The problem is I don't think I can be, ever beat Nexus of Fate. I'm gonna keep. I'm on the play. My mana is set up. All right, looks like we're playing against Esper. Which we're gonna want to draw something pretty quick just to be able to like give them something to mess with. Oh, we're playing against Nexus, so this is awful. Yeah, we're just like, this is where we're in trouble. But they should have main phased this when I was tapped out, by the way.
This card beats my whole deck. This is a beating. Because it just shuts off all the discard. It's like this, this is like, oh, not good. But we're just going to get a body on the battlefield. And then we're going to go Bolas kill this next turn. the name <clears throat> they missed on it to start how does this card work here I need to show the game log so named wilderness reclamation and they didn't hit okay Alright, so now we just nug this and attack our opponent. Really hope that there's no counter spell. We got a 4-4. Four, four. It's not a lot, but it's what we got. Sure. So now if they don't play another Tamiyo, then we do get to take two cards from the next turn. Which isn't nothing. Teferi here would suck. Wilderness Reclamation also sucks. Because now they can flow in Nexus. They don't really do anything with this Nexus. Unless they want a Glimmer. Or Memorial, excuse me. They're not really doing a lot. If they get a Planeswalker in play, then they are doing a lot. Okay, so there's a Planeswalker that just beats our deck. Did they hit with it? They did, it appears. They might just be inciting, okay. Alright, so I got a plus. They don't discard. And then I think I've actually got to play the new one in. What? What just went to the graveyard? Huh. Alright, well I'm just going to play the new Tamiyo and kill this. Just try to minimize the damage a little bit. This is, this is, this is a tough, this is what's tough, is that we don't have any way to stop what our opponent's doing. It gets better after sideboard, but... Destroy target creature or planeswalker... Get rid of this. Play a tap land. It's just really tough to starve this deck's resources. Because we get to just memorial here. Draw two cards. At least they shut their mana off. But you really need to like a thought erasure into a campaign to handle this deck. But yeah, that's search for candidate, that's just gonna kill us. We're just gonna like fold it up to a nexus here. That's the end game. All right, we can beat that. Believe it or not. Red, blue. Card star of our opponent. It's just the best we can do, game one. This matchup's bad. We're just gonna lava coil this. 
thinking I do that, and then I'll just play an untapped land in case I get the opportunity to kill something later. We do get to bring in a bunch of cards, so did not put a land into play. Just cycled. Problem is they only have 28 cards in their deck. Put a card in the bottom. Drew two. Come on, do we have to live the dream? Shock. That's not, that definitely means we're not winning the dream. Living the dream, I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I only found Opt. Jason. So I gotta get them Hellbent as soon as possible so that I can start attacking their lands, which is just gonna be so difficult to play. Are they ditching a land? All right, I'm just gonna, f I'm not gonna attack into this. I'm just gonna flip this, bring back this Bolas and make them discard another card. Because I will just gladly trade lands if that's what they're looking to do. So do they have an answer to this? They have a blank. I should have I should have thought about that after I saw the blank. This is so stupid on my part. I thought it was like I don't even know what I was. I thought I, I shouldn't have. I should have just passed. That was so stupid. I don't even know what could they have. Like settle the wreckage. They would just the mana would wear off. Yeah, that was just so dumb. Oh, that was bad. I thought by main phasing it, like maybe I was playing around something. But it turns out I wasn't. It turns out I was just punting. Put a card on the bottom. Oh, that wasn't good. Right, opponent's got to have. Okay, so that's the card that beats me. There's reveal, uh, go for Nexus Evade here. Uh, what was her name? And then on my main, Wilderness Reclamation. They just want more mana, basically. Or just more activations of Search for Escanta. It looks like they've got yeah, with a net, we're gonna scoop it up here because a nexus on, like being able to activate it with, with seventeen cards in their deck means they're just gonna they're just gonna leave me out. Okay, so we want to bring in these eleven cards. We want to cut these. We want to cut these. Angrath's rampage can't doesn't do anything against Tamiya, which is important. The eldest reborn is not that great. Cry the Carnarian is pretty poor. I think it's what we're going to do. We're going to bring the Liliana in just because it can kill him. But that's really all that it does. There's not too much that's great about that card. Alright. We've got a discard spell and a negate. Turn one duress would be nice. I think this deck wants four duresses before it wants four negates. This is going to make it so we hit land four. Double growth spiral. So we got to let the growth spiral go. Oh, wow, they don't have the mana for it. If they don't have the mana for it, I'm just going to take the Tamiyo. Like, 
The Tamio just bodies me so hard. Now we have negate. All right, looks like there's a racial fortress. Now let's just hope that they don't have. They don't like absorb. Catch a ghost spiral. That makes sense. All right, looks like we've. We're in a pretty good spot here. Not going to play into this Dogen's Veto. Just going to pass. Just going to attack them with old Nikki. I might do this because they're probably going to, they might counter it. If they counter this, I'm all right with it. Then I'll just arrest them. Put into your graveyard, put into your graveyard. All right, there's Nick. I'm gonna duress my opponent this turn for sure. I guess I would've liked at least one of those lands. Because now if they wanna counter this duress, they don't get to Chemistry's Insight. And I'm just gonna take this Search for Escanta. Search is the scariest card. Like the double Wilderness Reclamation, maybe we should be worried about, but like my opponent paces out a Wilderness Reclamation every turn, we're gonna be fine. So let's just put this on top and put this on top. Let's learn our lesson, make our land drop. And then pass. Opponent insights. Okay, so now we just have to counter this. Oh, they have crushing canopy. We're gonna let crushing canopy resolve. Oh wow, they let it go. All right, well. Let's just play another lethal flyer. Not gonna counter this. We have two ways to That's what we counter. Okay. All right. Keep it the same. And hopefully we get lucky. This is just not it. Yeah. I, I, this is like the only deck that I just have not been beating with any regularity with this with this setup. Keep it. We don't have any pressure, but we're going to be able to surveil our way into pressure. I could shock there just to bluff spell pierce, but I don't think I'm going to. Now I just want to hold up negate. I don't think I'm, I'm gonna hear. They would have slammed search for Zacanta on their turn if they had the opportunity to. Gonna just do the same thing. We're gonna fire this off. We could get Frilled Mystic, which is gonna feel super bad. I 
just going to take this, put this on top, pass the turn. They're going to insight, which is just whatever. It's annoying, but I have to pick my spot because if because of Dovin's veto makes this like pretty scary. I kind of just want to take this and this. So my opponent hits Dovin's Veto, then like, I guess I just take this because I can deal with this. This in the graveyard. And then I just pass. They are going to flash this back, probably ditch to settle the wreckage or crushing canopy. We're just playing that fish game. They ditch the land. Interesting. Hit a land. Really hope they didn't hit Dovin's Veto. Whew. Yep, we just take this, put this on top. I'm just going to play this just to tie my opponent's mana up. Makes it like they can't do anything else. Okay, so that's, we know what they ripped. We did that so basically our opponent couldn't memorial. <clears throat> nine minus nine we get them so they're already through two reclamations so this contempt's probably not going to do very much because i doubt they have very many more tamios in the deck that's a beating they don't have sell the wreckage up opponent could just go off right here but if they don't go off right here we get to just decimate their board the crushing canopy settle the wreckage they capped which is not good for us opt we do the op, put on the bottom, 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 bottom. Come on, bottom. Put a card on the bottom. All right, they're activating as Kanto, which is good. Next fate. I think we got it. Unless they have a blink of an eye. Ugh. All right, well, this is this is where it all goes downhill. I mean, they have to hit, right? Like, they have to hit for basically the rest of the game or this is gonna kill them. And it's not super likely. I mean, it's, it's probably like, we're probably like, yeah, that's, that's good too. We're probably like much less than even money to win here.
It's not animating. Okay, they are. No nexus. Oh, there's a nexus. Now we're just dead. <sighs> they animate. I'm not gonna sit through this too, too much longer. All right, well, we kind of have that beat. All right, grow spiral. Give me priority. right now just before they get to do anything we had a really good draw this game looks like they missed They're fishing. I mean, they get to look at eight cards at least. Okay, yeah, they just said, all right, I'm gonna scoop it up. They just nexus. Yep, that was close. When they had, they like, they had that, they had to kill me that turn, they did. Went for, like, you know, that's as good as we can do. I would like to play first. Playing against misplaced ginger. I'm going to keep our mana is pretty set up. That's dead. Playing Golgari. Okay, this is this was you know this is how this hand turned out. Like it definitely could happen like this. We can't be super frustrated here. Branch Walker into Doom Whisperer, ditches that, okay. Cry the Carnarium would be a nice draw here. Nick is not great in the face of a potential Vivian. But if he doesn't have Vivian, then gonna play it like we're only gonna get our opponent's land or elf but we have to start something then we can play this next turn the saving grace I guess is he doesn't have a lot of mana but Jade Knight Ranger does make this thing huge so this is then deal seven. And he drew a land for the turn. Oh, he's another creature to add to the board. That's gross. What is he gonna find finality something? Okay. Wow, that was a sick draw. Okay, so if I just play Liliana, I'm making sack two creatures. He's got a Jade Light Ranger, right? He's got a Jade Light Ranger, so that still kills me. Yeah, I'm just dead to the Jade Light Ranger. 
So I'm not going to show Liliana. But the, the Jade Light just kills me because he just keeps this and then he pumps it up two counters. Hand was a bit too slow. Bring this, bring this. I don't think I want the Moment of Cravings. Um, I don't think I want this. I don't think I want this either against the land. Though he might board out his land of war elves. But he might just try to go fast. I'm going to cut this. I don't want this. I wonder if I want all the cries against his deck. I don't think so. Now this thief can't be that good. I don't really know how to board against this deck. I guess this edict is still fine on the play. Keep one of these in. I should go cry. I guess the cries just kill all of his little morons. I don't know. Keep this one. We can edict a, a land or else we need to. We need him to not have the Vivian, the Tourney, and the Vivian. I think. Like if I could have probably the Nickel Bolas to try to like secure the battlefield, that would have definitely been in a better spot. We need threats. Cloud Rager, not bad. All right, I'm going to Thought Erasure him now because that's the best card in my hand. Annoyance, fine finality is also annoying. We'll take this, put this in the graveyard. I think he's just playing green black rock. Okay, there's the jade light. Okay, so at least the cry gets to clear up the board, but he's got mana to get up to the Carnage Tyrant. So let's just take, get the two creatures. They don't get. It's not like this is a clean sweep because he did draw so many cards off of it. He's gonna duress probably this because this deals with Carnage Tyrant. I'm just gonna make him deal with this. Though. No. I'm just gonna be mana efficient. Like this, this Bolas doesn't do anything. in the face of the Carnage Tyrant anyways. Takes all the forest. So he just kills this. And now I'm gonna be staring at Carney T.
Yeah, I've got two of those. Definitely needed to hit a land there, I think. Because I get to flip it. Right, I can deal with that. Find finality. That's not good. I go shock plus. If I attack him, shock and flip it, and then draw two cards. I'm just dead on board. So I just have to kill this, play a tap land. And attack, because if I just stay back to block, he'll just block it. I basically need Liliana at this point. I think I boarded out at least one of my Angrath Rampages. I guess I have one. I have a three outer. Let's go back to the deck. Let's open up our pity treasure chest actually. What do we get? A Lyra, I don't have any idea what that's worth. So we got dis we got we lost to um we lost to Next to Fate, which this deck's just not good against Next to Fate. And then we lost, we kept like a hand, we just didn't draw really a lot against Ginger in game one. And then we lost to Carnage Tyrant in game two. So maybe this deck needs a couple more ways to deal with Carnage Tyrant, but I guess, maybe that means I have to keep my Eldest Reborns in. You know? Like maybe against Green Black I have to board something like, like keep, bring these three in. Cut this and like one of these maybe and keep my Eldest Reborns. But I don't know. Green Black is tough. But they keep recurring Carnage Tyrant, so maybe like some Graveyard Hate's good. But, oh, I gotta bring these over here. But that's gonna do it for me tonight. I appreciate everybody for showing up. I guess this would have been an answer to to Carnage Tyrant as well, which I didn't think about. So I, I guess we just actually are pretty decent against Carnage Tyrant. We just like didn't draw out the way we had to. Because we we had a three outer. I don't think we'd drawn any of these. We actually had a seven outer, which is like pretty good, you know? Yeah, just like having seven outs was fine. So I guess it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was. But um, I hope 